Okay, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy. Today I want to talk to you about how to remove malware protection using System Restore. First of all, System Restore, that's a built-in feature into your Windows operating system. As far as malware protection, it's just another of the recent rogue antivirus programs that I found out there in a customer's computer. And I decided to use System Restore in this one because the customer actually brought it in right after they got infected. They didn't wait weeks and months before they brought it in and let things get worse to the point where System Restore probably wouldn't do them very much good. Anyways, a lot of times when you get these rogue programs, sometimes things get so bad that they disable some of these features like System Restore, Task Manager, Registry Editor, and you might not be able to run some of these built-in Windows utilities to be able to start this process. If that's the case, you might not be able to use this procedure. But if System Restore does run, and you actually know the date of infection, you can go to a date before you're actually infected. So how are we going to know which date to choose? Well, let's get started. Now when you get an infection such as malware protection, you might notice that you got some additional icons on your desktop that you don't know where they came from. In this case, this is the infection, the icon that says malware protection. So what we're going to do is to look at the properties of that icon by right clicking the icon with a mouse and then scrolling down and selecting properties. Now you'll notice that this icon was actually created on June 8, 2011. And that's what we need to key in on there, June 8th. So now we're going to take that June 8th date and we're going to use that to run System Restore. We actually want to pick a date before June 8th, but the June 8th date will be the baseline for what we're looking for. Okay, to start System Restore, you want to click on Start in the lower left hand of your screen and then click all programs scroll up to accessories and then system tools and then you'll see system restore go ahead and select system restore just know that system restore does not open up instantly in some cases I've had to wait a couple minutes before so be patient and while you're waiting for system restore to open I'm gonna go back to the desktop and check that malware protection icon I'm gonna right click it and in this case I'm gonna short, uh, click on the tab that says shortcut then I'm going to look down at the target to actually see the path of where this particular file is, the executable program file for malware protection. I want to see if it's there, and later on I'm going to actually go look to see if it's been removed after we do the system restore. Okay, here we go. System restore started. You notice it says restore system files and settings. Just know that this will not delete your data files, your personal files like documents, music, pictures that you've created and stored in your computer. To continue, just go ahead and click Next. Okay, so here we're at the screen where we're actually going to choose a restore point. If you're using Windows XP, you're going to see more of a calendar looking kind of uh, graphic user interface for this, but the procedure is still pretty much the same. As you can see, the closest restore point that I have available is looks like May 30th. I like to use one that was done with the system checkpoint that was kind of created when the system was idle. Uh, if there's uh, more than one system checkpoint in a row, I typically like to choose the one in the middle of the three. To me, it just seems like the computer was probably working reasonably well during that point in time. So select your point before the June 8th date, in this case, May 30th, we're choosing, and click Next. Now, you just want to confirm your restore point just make sure that the date and all that's what you really want and then click finish now once system restore is actually started don't try to interrupt the process just let it complete so let's go forward click yes so now your computer is going to restart and it could take several minutes until it comes back up to the desktop after which you'll see the results of the uh, of the system restore hopefully it was successful until then, you can look at this picture of a monkey, so you can go monkey around until it finishes. So after System Restore is completed and your computer is restarted back to the desktop, you want to see this window here that System Restore completed successfully. In this case, it's been restored to May 30th, 2011, and the documents weren't affected. 
Now I would go back to the location where when we looked at the properties and the target location of where the infection originally was, go back there and see that the folder is gone. Most likely it should be gone as well as any other associated files and registry entries that you won't have to spend your time searching for. It should have been completely removed. Hopefully that's all that you had in your computer at that point. And anyways, what I do from there is go run your other malware program, scan for more stuff, and keep scanning for more stuff. It might take several scans using all the programs that you've heard me recommend in the past. Hopefully this did the job for you. And that's all I have to say. This is Dale, the Spyware Prevention Guy. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs>